Mental Fox here with another episode in my playthrough of Fallout 76. Thank you for joining me again. You can see that uh, we are just outside of Uncanny Caverns here, and something, something just moved in the woods over here. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but there was something that moved here. It could have been maybe uh, there's a Scorch Beast flying around over there uh, because there is a Fisher site nearby here. We know that because we uh, fought... A Scorch Beast here at the end of the last episode. Before I started this episode, I went and uh, took care of inventory. Got my inventory down to 142. Not bad. Also, um, kind of cleared out my stash a little bit, and then I filled it right back up. Uh, it's kind of filled up now with weapons that I have for sale, like uh, weapons and armor. Some legendary stuff that I've picked up over the past few episodes. I put those things up for sale. Um... Sold off a lot of stuff, balked up a lot of stuff. Ooh, gross. It's like some kind of cave cricket thing over there. That was kind of gross looking. I'll give it another one. Well, this is a cave. Not surprising, I guess, we'd see cave crickets. Uncanny caverns located right here on the map. Just a place that, for really no reason, we've never visited before. Uh, you know, right here at the beginning of this episode. I think it's a pretty good time to visit it. I have no idea how big this place will be on the inside. It might be tiny. I don't know. It might be huge. Uh, you can plainly hear one of those... Um, gosh, what are they? Captains? I don't know. The dudes that walk around with um, codes. I forget what they're called. But uh, I'm not interested in those guys right now. At some point, we will partake in the quest to launch a nuke. And those guys will then be very important, but right now, not so much. Not to me, anyway. We are going to explore good old Uncanny Caverns. That's what we're going to do in this episode, so. Exploring uh, what looks to me like a gift shop. Uh, let's just see if there's any fun stuff in here for us. You know, like a dead body, you know. Oh, the fun. Uh, over here is another uh, broken camera. I say another. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a broken pro snap camera. Which I believe I need to figure out how to repair in order to take photos in the game. Oh, somebody left some ammo sitting there. 45 rounds. That's something that I actually use. This weapon that I'm using right now actually fires 45 rounds, I believe. Anything behind the old counter over here? Another door here. Employee entrance, I guess. Looks like maybe there's another building out back. Well, maybe there's more to explore out here than I thought. Here's a settler, dead settler. Not even gonna bother with the 10 millimeter rounds. I don't care about that. Um, I don't even know if I care about that. I could at least get steel from it, right? Steel was certainly worth having. Steel. I basically turn into bullets. Well, there he is right there. He's dead already. Uh, so we go ahead and take the code from him. Why not? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's raining a little bit, I guess. Place um, it's more to the outside of it than I thought there was going to be, but uh, this is this is the way we came in, right? And over here is this uh, like a billboard thing? I don't know, place to hang? Not billboard. Um, I don't know, hang things. Um. Just looking around. The beautiful uncanny caverns. Here's where you buy your tickets. Huh, interesting. Dead ghoul down there. Cave cricket in there. Getting a little, um, lost. 
glowing cave crickets. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna pick it up again. Maybe last time I didn't actually pick it up. Maybe I just looked at it. I just wanted it to shut up. I don't like that sound they make. It just kinda kind of annoys me. Well, I found the bathroom. Glad there's nobody in here. Um hi, how are you? Die already. Uh, 38 rounds I'm not interested in. I'm not going to bother picking those up. 44 rounds, another type of ammo I'm not interested in. I'm not going to mess with. It, <laughs> there's another... Look at all the codes laying on the ground here. I wonder, I guess... Uh, do players just pick them up and then drop them right there on the ground? Is that a thing that I could do? Um, are they under notes? Is that what they're under? I think they're called silo code pieces, right? I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, so if I wanted to, I could drop it on the ground. Oh, and it says I cannot drop this item. Okay, well, I don't know how those are there, but whatever. Mining light, lamps. Another dead body over there. Pickaxe, you know, stuff that people use in mines. 45 rounds, I'll take those. Uh, even though these are caverns, not necessarily a mine. There's a stim pack, now that's just something I will pick up. Reception terminal here, transaction terminal here. Cash register with nothing in it. A uh, Curse of the Wendigo, part one. Oh, by golly, let's listen to that. Mom, I do say Mr. Richard certainly seems to have his 
appetite back. He's eaten twice again since lunch, yet still appears hungry. A very good sign of recovery indeed. Yes, I suppose that is good news. And you, dear? Hey, did you buy more steak? As I was saying, Mum, he's eaten up every last steak, meatball and banger, I'm afraid. Sorry, darling. I'll go to the butcher tomorrow. Ah. Uh, uh. Insistent, isn't he? Yes, ma'am. Quite. Unfortunately for the Moore family, all is not as it seems with their recovering patriarch. Tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of Curse of the Windigo. Well, hopefully we will find the second holotape so we're not left hanging wondering what happens in part two. Hope you didn't mind that I was walking around picking stuff up as we listened to that. Here's a reception terminal. Uncanny Caverns Reception Tour Guidelines Memo. Welcome. As a new member of the Uncanny Caverns family, part of your job will be to give multiple guided tours a day. Our motto is to give tour guests an uncanny experience. What does this mean to you? 1. Night Kid is real. Seriously. You have to truly believe this to sell it to others. 75% of our vacation traffic comes nationwide from those who have read about Night Kid in the tabloids, and our job is to sell that to them. He was born here, and he remains to this day. We have plenty of literature for you to absorb on the subject before you start leading tours alone. 2. Upsell, upsell, upsell. We've gotten a lot of complaints that our wild cave and extreme adventure tours are underwhelming, but that means the guides aren't doing their job. People can go anywhere for a natural cavern. They come here for the spooky atmosphere and the night kid mythos. It's your job to give that to them. 3. We've gotten reports of some tour guides allowing some really inappropriate things to happen during the lights out portion of the tour. Don't let this be you. Use your common sense and best judgment when it comes to how you conduct yourself. Keep this in mind and you'll no doubt be an upstanding employee. Have an uncanny day. So Night Kid, so <laughs> I actually thought that Uncanny Caverns was a real place. So I actually looked it up online before I uh, played this episode and it's not a real place, but there is a place in West Virginia called uh, Lost World Caverns, I think. I don't, I don't remember the name. Uh, and apparently, um, I, I, I think years ago there was like a story in a tabloid like National Enquirer or something about, um, I don't remember the name of the kid, but some bat kid or something like that that lived in these caverns or something. It's a pretty scary picture. If you, Too bad I can't give you a better suggestion of what to search for, but I mean, I don't remember what his name was. But anyway, I'm, I'm guessing that Night Kid is a play on that kid that was in that tabloid all those years ago. Uh, let's unlock the transaction terminal and check it out. Uh, already two likenesses defeats. Uh, has two likenesses with already. Monthly transaction revenue. Base admission slash automated tour narrated by Dick Shale. Uh, well, adults $14. 11. 1,189 sold. Children $7. 1,578 sold. Small children free. Total sales, pre-tax, $27,692. And then there's a wild cave tour, which includes includes base admission. They're $89 a piece. 392 of those were sold for that sales amount there. There's also an extreme adventure tour. All tours bundle plus devil's toll pass, $179. They sold 43 of those to make that much money. Devil's toll passes get you this much. Gift store sales this much. Total gross sales for September, 75000 Total gross sales for the previous month was 84000 Recommendations increase sales of upgraded tour packages. Increase base admission price. Remove Devil's Toll standalone passes. All right. Well, there you go. So, um, we come here and we buy a ticket. Um, then where do we go to get into the cave? Uh, that's what I want to know. Um, I mean, do we go 
I mean, this this used to have a little like guardrail there, so we didn't go that way. And then this, well, takes us over to what appears to be a gift shop. Um, so just curious where you go uh, to take the tour. Whoops. I mean, I, I know where to go. I, I, I just don't know how to get there. Um, if that makes any sense. I'm guessing that there used to be a wall here. Maybe... I don't know. I, I guess they had to bring people... It seems kind of weird that they would bring people behind the counter here to walk this way. But this does look like the way to go, so that just seems kind of strange to me. But maybe I'm putting way too much thought into this fictional place in a video game. So yeah, you'd walk down here and walk down this way. Another baby carriage tipped over. What the hell, man? Huh, interesting. There was a ghoul down here we saw from the bridge, but the ghoul's gone now. A hide bundle. Dirty water. So it looks like maybe... Whoever this was, was thinking that maybe they could hide out in this cave. Uncanny caverns, let's go. We're going in. Into these caverns. Alright. Oh, cave cricket. Wow, that didn't kill him. Didn't get my sneak sneak bonus, I guess. No music down here, which is kind of an interesting choice. I guess... Okay, maybe there is some music. Alright, why am I having a hard time killing these damn crickets? Somebody just left a full Nuka Cola there. Over here, got some Rad X. That's good to have. Um, I think that if I stay on the trail, we'll be all right. If I can get back on it, there we go. The beautiful uncanny caverns. You can set your camera on here. Get your picture taken here in front of the uncanny caverns. Sit on the bench here. Go into uh, photo mode here. And uh, we'll get our picture taken in front of the caverns. Let's see here. Here's the stick that we're supposed to put. Our Whoops. <laughs> I just took a picture of that. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. There's our dude just sitting there. Um, I thought I could zoom in. Yeah. Huh. I'd actually rather get a little closer to take this picture. Let's take this picture. Smile! And we could, if we wanted to, change our expression. Except that I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask so you can't see my expression. That's pretty funny. Okay, well, I just wanted a picture here. Um, you know, in front of the sign. And I got my picture. Now, if we go this way... Oh, this is the remains of a cave cricket. Get some waste acid, which is good because I had run out of acid... I was trying to bulk up some stuff. Really went through the acid. Here's the remains of another kick cricket, I thought, but maybe not. Bunch of garbage here. Humans dumping their garbage all over the place. For some reason, there's a baseball bat there. Wooden crate. Well, let's open this. I'm sure there's going to be something very exciting inside of it. 
I don't know. Stuff I'm apparently looking for. You could call a quantum here. Here, some apples, and here is Uncanny Caverns Audio Tour Station 1. Let's take a listen. Greetings, adventurers. I'm Dick Shale. You may remember me from automated tours at locations such as the Fancy Lads Factory and Prickett's Fort. Your journey begins in the Winding Gateway. As you descend the staircase, you travel back to an ancient land, millions of years old and perfectly preserved in time. Time travel sure works up an appetite, so guests with an upgraded tour plan can grab a complimentary box of Dandy Boy Apples. Yes, Dandy Boy Apples. So good, they never go bad. After our photographer captures the memory of a lifetime, head down the wooden path to learn the fascinating and mysterious history of the world-famous Uncanny Caverns. Well, I'm sure you heard that. Is it a scorched running around down here? Kind of a mess. Uh, a little bit of m mood lighting over there. Some lighting over there. either way. Here's two. Almost missed this one. Let's take a listen. Congratulations on making it all the way down the winding gateway. Oh, it was tough. A feat powered by the refreshing fuel of Dandy Boy Apples. During this self-guided tour, you'll experience majestic natural formations that evoke an otherworldly sense of awe and reverence. You'll also hear tales of the dark and mysterious Night Kid who leapt from the depths of these caverns into the imaginations of millions worldwide. Head left to continue the tour, and please stay on the wooden path. So he wants us to go left, so maybe it goes around and comes back. But let's walk over here. See if there's anything interesting. Here is a toolbox with some cool stuff in it. Here is a gangrenous feral ghoul. Ten. So that is indeed where the tour ends. So let's follow the tour in order. Why not? Let's follow the tour. It's pretty neat. I kind of like it. I like this wooden path. Winding its way through here. I like it. Here is number three. Let's take a listen. <laughs> no littering. Yeah, my guy's thirsty, so let's take a drink. And then, did you see that I picked something up? This corpse flower stamen, five of them were put into my inventory. Uh, did I pick those up? Why are those in my inventory now? I don't know. Kind of running low on purified water, I'm just now noticing. Need to get more out of my stash. Um... Let's see, let's, um, 
I don't know, let's eat some ribs. And then um, we'll have um, this baked bloat fly here. And then canned dog food. There. Now we're not hungry anymore. Okay. Clean this place up a little bit. It's kind of a mess. Huh. Oh, one of those monkey things there. I'm going to guess that maybe the tour will come back from there. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just follow the tour for now. And then we'll see what there is to explore. Uh, here's another uh, audio tour thingy. Before you is the entrance to the Night Kid room where the mysterious half-man, half-bat was first discovered. Night Kid was found in complete darkness and surrounded by bats. He was two feet tall, weighed 19 pounds, and had been feeding on moths to survive. <laughs> You can explore this part of Appalachian history and more at a reasonable price as part of our wild cave tour, sold separately. Head right to continue the tour. Please let members of premium guided tours pass before proceeding. Well, let's go. We have an all access ticket. We're going to go this way. Huh, that's interesting. That looks like a trap, doesn't it? Interesting. Oh, somebody had a little camp back here, and it's really not a bad place for one. Except for the fact that there's big giant signs outside saying, Hey, look! Caverns. Uh, 308 rounds. I could sell. 45 rounds I'm using. Plasma cartridges, I think I could sell. Fusion cell, Saltron head. Tesla Science 3, could take that. Maybe I could sell that. Rocket Science for toddlers. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Curse of the Wendigo Part 2, yay! Settler was hanging out down here for a while. Get a bit of a still going on here. Alright, let's listen to Curse of the Wendigo Part 2. Jimmy. There he is. There's my boy. Looking fit as a fiddler. Dad, what's wrong? You don't look better at all. You've gotten so thin I can see your bones. Mm. You've lost all your hair too. You look almost like a skeleton. Oh, so sorry, Jimmy. But Daddy's hungry. So very, very hungry. Run, Jimmy. <laughs> Was it the radiation, a side effect of the medication? 
Or was it greed that caused this carnivorous transformation? We may never know. Be sure to tune in next week for another thrilling chapter of Tales from the West Virginia Hills. Hmm, okay. Well, apparently there's another piece to this uh, story. I saw somebody bought some magazines from me there. Here is uh, stop number five along our tour. Let's take a listen. Before you leave the royalty room, we'd like you to experience the decades-old tradition of listening for night. Ooh, let's listen. Some say if you're quiet enough at the right time of day, you can hear night kids scurry around the dark recesses of the cave ceiling. Now, everybody in the tour group, take a brief moment of silence. If you dare. When you're done, head down the stairs to continue the tour. Please, watch your step. Well, I didn't hear anything. I want my money back. I'll just help myself to some coal. That'll offset the cost. Okay. Let's keep following along the tour here. Watch your step. Here's station number six. Oh, interesting. Let's take a listen. In front of you is the Halfling Hole, the second stop on our guided wild cave tour. The Halfling Hole, so named for its cozy size and quaint surroundings, features a natural pool with water so pure it has to be tasted <laughs> to be believed. It is thought that the reason Night Kid was able to thrive for so long here is the abundant sources of shelter, fresh water, and bugs for protein. <laughs> Head right to continue the tour. We remind guests to please not enter the Halfling Hole without a premium tour badge. I have a premium tour badge, and yes, I see that board there. Oh, well, uh, oh, oh, okay, I thought I walked around the board, but I guess I didn't. Oh, well, it didn't hurt me that much. So here's the water. Dirty water. Drink. I got a lot of rads for drinking that, man. Hey, he said to drink it. He said it was pure. Uh, a tin pitcher. Here's some 308 rounds. I could probably sell those. A lantern. We could scrap that. So, another body here. Another person who thought it was a good idea to set up camp inside the caverns here. I don't think it's a terrible idea at all. Let's keep going. Another body. I don't like those glowing ones, man. I got a little. I feel like I got a little lucky there. Killed him before he got to me. A couple bodies here. Looks like he was carrying a garbage can lid. Maybe using that as a shield. What do you have on you? Caps, cartridges. All kinds of stuff, really. This guy, cap and some duct tape. Uh, here's number seven. Oh, here's the button here. The next stop in our tour is the impressive Poseidon's Passage. So named after the ancient Greek god of the sea, earthquakes, storms, and horses. The impressive stalactite and stalagmite to your left, known as the trident, will one day come together to form a massive natural column. The natural cave water here is filtered through the cavern rock over centuries and is pure enough to bathe a newborn child in. 
cross the bridge to continue the tour. For legal reasons, we encourage guests to stay on the trail and away from the water. For legal reasons. Well, can't tell me what to do. I just thought I'd come up here. I saw this over here and thought there might be something fun up here. There's not. It's not fun at all. Kind of sucks, really. Let's go across a bridge here. Another baby carriage. More bodies. Do I want to go in that direction? Oh, hi. Um, I don't know if there's anything over here for us or not, but let's go see. Water is surprisingly deep. Get all the water, dude. Water is actually quite deep. Well, here's uh, a stealth boy. I don't need that. Pretty stealthy already. Not too worried about those rads either. We'll be alright. We can take care of those. Here's station eight. Let's take a listen. The third stop on our premium wild cave tour is the dead end, where the final standoff between Night Kid and the Federal Marshals took place. Night Kid, now an aggressive five-foot-tall predator, was cornered and captured by the Marshals after a lengthy and deadly chase through the caverns. He remained in captivity for a decade before he was freed under mysterious circumstances and returned to the caverns where he lives to this day. What? Step up the right path to continue the tour. <clears throat> Watch out for bats. He still lives here? What? Why, I don't believe it. Well, let's see what's back here. Another um, trap. I guess those boards would spring up. Oh, there they go. Uh, another settler back here. Duct tape, very useful. Looks like there's quite a few people back here. Here's Live and Love 8. An experience to remember. You and your dog in space. Another battery here. Another settler. Do I have anything to craft? Let's take a quick look. Um, turn dirty water into boiled water. Hmm, crispy cave cricket. Sounds pretty good, right? A uh, recipe for Death Claw Wellington. Don't think I've made that before. And here is a steamer trunk with some fun stuff in it. And that's about all there is back here. Looks like there was actually kind of a community back here at one point. Here's number nine. Let's listen. Now we arrive at the infamous Devil's Offering, a tight and dangerous connection through the middle of the cavern to the royalty room. It is said that only those who offered a toll to the devil could get through this tight passage unscathed. 
Travel through Devil's Offering is only available by purchasing the Extreme Adventure Tour upgrade. Inquire at the gift shop to learn more. Head left to reach the final stop of the tour. Doesn't really seem to be that tight of a squeeze. Baseball bat, bladed rocket mod, a banjo, which apparently I want, I want some piece of. Buff out those crazy monkey things. Screw you, monkey thing. Screw you. And then that sure enough does take us back to the royalty room. Whoops. Just pressing buttons left and right. <laughs> that was the way you got to go if you took the extreme tour. Well worth the extra money. That's pretty neat. Here's number 10. The final stop of the self-guided tour is where it all began. The War Room. It inspires both fear and respect from its size and massive formations. In the center of it all is Odin's Tooth, the largest natural cavern formation in Appalachia. It is truly a breathtaking sight to behold. We thank you for spending your time with us at Uncanny Caverns and encourage you to return soon for the Wild Cave and Extreme Adventure Tours. Head left up the stairs to exit and please visit the gift shop on the way out. Thank you, and have an uncanny day. This is Dick Shale, signing off. So they have these pre-recorded messages here by Dick Shale, but they also have uh, guides, apparently. Um, old piano down here, that's kind of weird. So, what are the guides for? Just to walk you around and have you press the buttons? Maybe the guides are... Well, I mean, because they, they talked about the guides trying to upsell. So, um... I don't know. Anyway. That, um... Looks like about it for Uncanny Caverns. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Not great. But pretty neat. Picked up some goodies down here. What's this? A tool case that I missed, apparently. Bubble gum that I'm not interested in. Okay, there you go. Uncanny caverns. Those are great. Let's get the heck out of here. Seems like, um... They could have done something to make the place spookier. You know, something. Kind of, I thought I kind of liked where I thought they were going to go with the night kid thing. Maybe we would find evidence of somebody playing the part of night kid to scare the tourists maybe, but uh, no such thing. Just um, stories by good old Dick Shale. But, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Get the heck out of here. Go back out to Appalachia. And, um, see if there's anything else to see or explore in the nearby area. But this is one more place we could check off of our list as visited places in Appalachia here. Okay. Yeah. We'll pick those up. We could scrap those too. I didn't see any benches around here though. So I'm right back to picking more stuff up. You know, the stuff is important. I mean, that's how you upgrade things, how you repair your weapons and your armor. It's how you craft 
ammo. So, I mean, it's, it's you have to pick the stuff up. You have to if you want to survive in this game. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe you don't have to. Maybe there's other ways to play it. Maybe you... I don't know. Somehow get caps and buy your ammo instead of crafting it. But you'd still need materials to... Um, fix your weapons and your armor, right? Let's see what's down the road here. Let's see what this is. What are we looking at here? What is this? Viable Scorch Beast DNA. Interesting. I don't need that, but already done that quest here's like a little roadside shop here at the entrance to uncanny caverns uh, looks like there was some picketing here just like we saw at that miners monument had the road blocked off it looks like and um, somebody had set up a shop here maybe that was them Had some corn. Stim pack. It jangles the moon monkey. Some armor. Here's a uh, safe that we can unlock. Let's do that. Oh, wrong way. Oh, come on now. All right. Fun stuff in there. And some corn. That's just that'll just spoil if I pick it. I'm just gonna leave it there. All right. So just a little roadside shop here. In that direction, if we were to walk in that direction, well, pylon ambush site, the burning mine, and widow's perch. I do not remember. Pylon ambush site, or maybe I kind of do. This was part of the Fire Breathers um, quest line, I believe. The Burning Mine was too. Um, so maybe I do remember it. Uh, there's some mansions down here. Um, I don't remember whether I visited all these or not. Uh, pr pretty sure we went into Riverside Manor and Torrance House. But I don't know for sure with if we visited all of those. Wow, somebody dropped a nuke over here. I didn't even notice that. Hm, wonder if it's been... How long does a nuke stay? A blast zone. How long does it stay a blast zone? I don't even know. It's like somebody's over here by my camp. Mrs. M... Mrs. Mzinja? Mr. Smzinja? Beats me, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying my camp up there. In this direction. If we were to walk this way. Look at our map. Well, there's Bastion Park down there, and there's not much else around here. And it makes me wonder if uh, there aren't more places around here that we haven't visited. There's somebody's camp in that direction here. And then in this direction is a uh, Big Ben Tunnel. It's a power station, an event that's going on. Over there is some kind of storm maybe, or maybe that's the blast zone, huh? Yeah, I think I'm looking at the blast zone. That's what that is. Maybe I have explored all this place. Maybe there's nothing else to see out here. So we, a note. Let's read the note. Petey. I heard from a wanderer that there's a small family holed up in the burning mine. They seemed friendly enough, she said, but unwilling to trade even though they had spare armor like leather left leg. See if they'll reconsider? You're good at talking to people, so talk. 
otherwise, I'm going with my gun. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I can't say... Oh, I don't remember anything about the burning mine. I don't know whether I saw a family in there or not. I don't remember at all. That was a long time ago, man. That was pretty early in the game, really. So yeah, I don't know if there was a family in there or not. Up here is a bus. Kind of this uh, intersection here. I kind of remember walking here before. Oh, interesting. We got a miscellaneous quest to recover the item from the burning mine. Hmm. I wonder if that miscellaneous will still, quest will still be there when I start this game up again next time. I don't know if it will. Yeah. Somebody has a little cooking area set up here. Pork and beans. All right. Well, there you go. That's what's on this bus. Well, I want to make this bus my home for the night. End this episode here. When we come back next time, I'm not sure where the game will put me, actually. It might put me over there by Uncanny Caverns. Uh, it may put me here by Bastion Park, since this is the closest, the thing I'm closest to. It's hard to say. Come back next time to find out. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the deal. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Sure hope you join me again in the next episode.